Welcome to the Coca-Cola Halftime Report brought to you by our friends at Coke, who invite you always to experience the Coke side of life. Our special guest today, Lafayette Guard from Plantation, Florida, Senior Guard E.J. Stevens. E.J., welcome to the uh, Halftime Interview. I appreciate you guys having me. Uh, EJ, um, as you see, I, I have this virtual background uh, for your benefit because I, I don't want you to forget what the old days at Lafayette used to look like with all those fans cheering you on. I know things are very different these days. But, you know, EJ, my first question is this, you know, in this age of, of uh, young athletes coming into a, a program and, and kind of needing that instant gratification, uh, your role on the team seems to have expanded every year, and it's kind of followed the trajectory of your game. Uh, What's that part of the journey been like for you? Uh, it's been fun. Uh, that's one word I would use to describe it. Um, you know, as a young fellow myself, when I came in, I had a lot of people guiding me, helping me throughout the process. So that's something I want to do for the young fellas um, throughout the years, whether that be last year or this year. And um, I know Coach O always says it. Uh, we just have a lot of good guys on our team. Uh, it's just great to be around them um, and just love playing with them on, on the court. Well, that speaks a lot to your character, too. Uh, and fortunately, uh, I think you've discovered this year in an offensive system uh, that allows for enough shots to go around. Now, having said that, you're playing next to a guy like Justin Jaworski. What's that been like? Oh, man, it's been awesome. Uh, Jaws is probably probably the best shooter I've ever played with in my whole career. Um, that dude can fill it up. Uh, genuine good guy. Who's all without the ball. Uh, not selfish. Um, so, I do, yeah, I just love playing alongside him. Well, it, I think it's benefited you both that you fit into the system so well. And, and even expanding on that, EJ, you know, uh, I'm sure that in your heart of hearts, you, you have to know that there are a number of teams at this level that you could be starting for. In this particular system, you come off the bench. Now, in coach's system, again, it really makes no difference. You look at the minutes played and the productivity. Uh, but what's your reaction to coming off the bench? Is it something you've adapted to well? Uh, and, and, and how does it feel for you? Uh, yeah, this year I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to come off the bench. It's something I did last year. Um, but you know, I knew I was going to be playing over 30 minutes a game. So I really didn't, you know, feel any kind of way about it. Um, I just go out there every night, uh, just try to do what I can do to help the team win. Um, tell us a little bit about Plantation, Florida. Where is it? Uh, and how did you find your way from Plantation to Lafayette? See, Plantation, Florida, a lot of people don't know about it. Um, I don't really claim it as much. I would like to say I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. A lot of people know <laughs> where that is. <laughs> but um, it's, it's, a, it's a nice suburban neighborhood. Um, not a lot of trouble going on around there. Uh, good people. Um, of course, good weather. You know, that's one of the reasons why I love, love Florida. But uh, yeah, um, one of the former coaches, Coach Doherty, he used to coach here. Uh, we got in contact with him um, through an email. And then one thing led to another month later, I, I was on an official visit with the full scholarship. Fantastic. And never give up your hometown, Plantation, Florida. Right. That's where you're from. And now I know about it. Uh, EJ, we always like to hear about, you know, we talk so much. We see you play. Uh, we enjoy your game. Uh, you know, we love it when you guys have success, but we especially like to hear about what happens, uh, what, what EJ Stevens is all about off the court. I know you're a psychology major. Uh, you're into your senior year now. Uh, what's, the, what's the future uh, look like for EJ Stevens? You know, I think you probably know as much as I do right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really too sure. Uh, as far as a career, um, I know as far as basketball, I'm going to play as long as I can, do all my body holds up. But uh, as far as a career, I'm not sure yet. Um, I think that's part of the reason why I kind of drifted towards psychology. Uh, it's pretty universal. You can use it for a lot of things. Uh, both my parents majored in it, so I just decided to keep it in the bloodline. Good choice. And I can tell you this uh, from experience, EJ, uh, you've laid a terrific foundation. Uh, again, your performance in the classroom, your performance on the court, uh, and, and just your approach to things. We've appreciated it. We've appreciated watching you play, and we wish you all the best for the rest of this season and beyond. EJ Stevens, thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And we'll be back after uh, this uh, brief break with the second half. <laughs> 